Today, what I'm going to show you is the importance of eBay and Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. Now, I've done a couple of videos where I haven't shown you exactly why, so that's what I'm doing now. So like my video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it. So I'm going to get into that, and then I'll do some product research. Now, if you guys want me to do live product research on the channel, I've been thinking about doing that as well. So comment and let me know. Just put yes, type the word live in the comment section, and I'll start doing three live product research videos. So you guys can watch me do it and ask questions about it. So let me get into it. All right, so if you look... Right, remember we're dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is a marketplace where sellers sell to sellers. When you're trying to, how sales happen for the most part in most of these marketplaces is through key, is through searching. If someone searches for something and the, the title and the description has the proper keywords and that seller's a good seller, it would come up. Now, let's go to eBay. Let's search for the term. I do men's mountain bike a lot. So let's do men's mountain bike. And we'll see what comes up. So when you search men's mountain bike, a couple things happen. One, you get a term that's mountain bike, 27 wheel full. That is clearly not like a, a corporate title. But that's the first thing that comes up. And you notice that 79 is sold. The second one, 100 and something sold, mountain bike, front suspension, blah, blah, and so on. Now let's go to Walmart. Let's search for men's mountain bike. If you search for men's mountain bike on Walmart, and I'll do the same for, for, for Amazon. If you search for men's mountain bike on Walmart, you see 26 inch mountain bike for adult and youth. Same one here, let's search for Amazon. Minus mountain bike. Men's mountain bike. Okay, sweet. I missed the N in mountain. So yeah, so it's showing, showing, S, blah, blah, showing, mongoose, so on. If you notice, these titles start with the with the brand. These aren't skewed or these aren't created specifically to have best keywords. Now, if you look at eBay, that's the case. What these titles are, keyword fill titles. So usually what, well, what you'll want to do, so let's see if I could find this somewhere else. Let's see if that, this is a dropshipper. So I figured it's a dropshipper. Let me just search, search your type, search your image. See if I find this baby somewhere else. Hormones, Amazon. Is that the same bike? So let's see. Let's see. 349. So it does not seem like this is a drop shipper. But it is not. So that's, it doesn't seem to be a drop shipper. So let's continue. This is not how you do product research for Facebook dropshipping. Usually how you do product research is you would find an item once it's a dropshipper, list it. Now I am still trying to figure out if this is a dropshipper and it seems like he's not. But I'm still going to check because sometimes these guys do a good job at hiding reality. Let's search here. This looks like a, a a title from Amazon, a store, not, not a title, a stolen description on Amazon. So let me see if I find another place where this is sold. Ah, Eurobike store. So Eurobike store is not a dropship. I've seen this guy everywhere. Let's see what else this guy has. But what I want you to take away from the first part of this is that when you're using an item from, let's say, Amazon or Walmart, you don't want to use their titles. You want to see if you could find a title from eBay and replace it. You could also use, um, what, what is the name of this thing? Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'll get into it now. I haven't used this tool in so long. Product. 
Not Ali dropship. Ah. Is a title create title builder. What you can use though, so this is a free title builder for eBay. What you can do is I would suggest if you cannot find the title on eBay, what I would just suggest is using this title builder. If you want to sell this item, so let's say we know that this, let's see how much this item is sold. Mm -mm -mm. Research. What I'm doing here is I'm using FBM Fox to do the research on this bike. I want to see how much the item is sold. If I could do it on the previous page. Let's do it on this page. Come on, FBM Fox. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. <laughs> FBM Fox research, scroll down, hit search, and you'll get the sales volume of these babies. So this item has sold twenty-seven thousand dollars a month. This one has sold twenty-two thousand. All of these things are sold more than once a day. So these are items I will def definitely list. But before listing them on eBay, I would not uh, list them on Facebook. Sorry. I would not use the titles that are here. I would use a title builder and get a, a, a keyword fill title. If you could find the same item on eBay for more, you know it's a dropshipper. And then you can use his title. So anyway, guys, if you want to do the one-on-ones or the, the direct training, so I go into detail and actually show you how to use the, the eBay titles, how to choose items, how many to list every day, actually show you how to list on Facebook, how to get the shipping options, so on. You can click in the description to join the FBM Academy by myself. Um, I've been drop shipping for 10 years. I've been doing Facebook for about almost a year now. I've, I've consulted on various software platforms. I've built software for eBay. I've drop shipped on all the different platforms. And we ha I now have the inner circle. It's not for everyone. So you could fill out the application. You could hit apply. Uh, we'll get in a call. Anyway, guys, like my video, subscribe to my channel. Let me know I could help you. Let me know in the comment section again if you want me to go live. Look in the description for all the courses we have. Have a good one, guys. Later.